She'll be dead. <laughs> Fresh coffee from the book cafe. Mm. I ordered it just the way that you like. <laughs> Thanks, Simone. I just saw Reese. He said that Whitney was here. Yeah, yeah. She heard what was going on and came over. She's next door right now uh, at uh, Tabitha's getting Teresa. Where's uh, where's Jessica? She stopped at the church to pray for a charity, Kay and Miguel. Good, because they're gonna need all the help they can get. I'm really worried about them. Yeah, me too. This is nice. <laughs> you know, I just want to tell you again how sorry I am that I haven't been spending a lot of time with you. I mean, from now on, I'll be putting our relationship first. Uh, Simone, look, about our relationship, I, I mean, just... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're so fine. <laughs> if I'm not careful, some girl might try to win your heart away from me. I can't believe Ivy telling Sam that she loves him and that they're a family now with Ethan. Grace has suffered so much at the hands of that woman. I am not going to let her break up my best friend's marriage. Sam and Grace don't look like a happily married couple. Far from it. I, I think you still need closure in your relationship with No, I, I don't. I love you and only you. You and my family are my life. That's why I tried so hard to rescue Kay, Charity, and Miguel. And yet you can only rescue Ethan, your son, with her. Look, he wasn't in hell yet. Look, and just because I rescued him doesn't mean I need closure with Ivy. What we had was over 20 years ago. Look, Sam, maybe your relationship ended then, but I don't think your feelings for her did. I mean, look, you never had a falling out with Ivy. She was ripped away from you by her father and the Cranes. And I think if that hadn't happened, that you might have married her and you might have raised Ethan together. I don't care about what ifs. I love you now, not Ivy. Oh, Sam, I know you love me, but not with your whole heart. You can't, because no matter what you tell me, I believe there's a part of you that still loves Ivy. Listen to her, Sam. We belong together, and if you let me, I will show you that our love never died. And what a night. And, and Cain and Miguel and Charity are still trapped in hell. Teresa, don't give up hope, right? We're gonna find a way to get them out. My God, it's true. Hank, Hank, you're back. <laughs> Welcome home. Thanks. I thought I saw some wild stuff working with the feds. It was nothing compared to this. We couldn't believe it at first either. I called the station house on my way in. Dispatch said that Sam's house had been attacked by birds, that the walls dripped blood, and now there's rumors of demons wreaking havoc? That was a late April Fool's. Everything you heard's true. Miguel, Charity, Kay, they're all trapped in hell. They're all being held in Charity's closet, which is now a portal to hell. Even I was attacked by demons. What? My God. No, I'm okay. Chad, TC, Luis, Sam, they all saved me. Well, what about the others? What can we do to rescue them? Father Lonigan says nothing. He said the only person that can save them is someone sent from God. Padre's inside right now, praying that help comes soon. Merciful heavens, the creature can speak. Creature? What creature? You, the creature I hold in my hand. What? What are you and why are you here? This is a demon's claw, Timmy. Ugh, the demon's claw. And it's the only thing that could save your sweet charity. How? How could it save charity? 
Well, actually, it's quite simple. This claw possesses such enormous powers that if it were to be thrown through the portal into hell, the portal through which Charity was abducted... Charity's closet. That's where the demon got her, right? Yes, right. Well, if this claw was thrown through that portal, it would give Charity the power to free himself. Answer me, creature. Why are you here? Save Charity from hell! Over there, eavesdropping on Sam and Grace. I'm gonna go over there and give her a piece of my mind. Yeah, you and me both. If Ivy feels cornered, she might tell TC about my past with Julian. No, TC, I, I don't want you talking to Ivy. Why not, E? Oh, keep pushing him, Grace. Soon you're going to push him straight into my arms. I need you to deal with your feelings for Ivy. Whatever they are. Grace, what are you saying? What, what, what am I supposed to do? No, you just leave that to me, Sam. I'll help you rekindle your feelings for me. And we'll show Grace that we still love each other, that we never stopped. I'm going to get you back, Sam. No matter what I have to do, I'm going to win you. You say you are here to save Charity? Right. I get the sense that you are not human. Mm -hmm. I also get the sense that you are tied to the dark side, but that evil has not tainted your soul. I also sense that there is goodness inside you, whatever you are. There is goodness inside of... We can't let the priest know who he is. He'll vote to have his cover. There is goodness inside this creature. In fact, the little angel girl just paid yours truly a visit. The little angel girl, you say? Yes. Could this creature be the humble servant that I prayed would be shown the light? The little angel girl told yours truly, that he has the power to save Charity. Then you must save her. But if yours truly saves Charity, he'll hurt someone he loves. And yours truly doesn't know if he can hurt his princess. Oh, well, just what exactly did you hear me say, dear? You were saying something about someone being dead. Oh, oh, that. Oh, that's just a childhood rhyme we'd say when we were jumping rope. But you weren't jumping rope just now. No, but I was jumping around. And why? Well, I was trying to exercise. Okay, but you were feeling so sick earlier. I mean, Teresa said that you fainted in the Bennett's backyard. True. But the caffeine in our tea and the sugar in those delicious gingerbread cookies just perked me right up. Don't get me wrong, Tabitha. I'm really glad that you're feeling so much better. But when I came in here just now, it definitely looked like you were celebrating something. Only I can't imagine what there is to celebrate about. <laughs> oh, there's plenty to celebrate, believe me. <laughs> Once Charity and Miguel are finally finished, I'll use my newly restored powers to make certain that evil reigns supreme in harmony. I'll destroy the lives of everyone in this town, including yours.
Tell me, creature, is this princess the source of evil I sense here in Harmony? I know evil exists, but I've never been able to track it down. It is true we can't lie to a priest. His princess is the evil in Harmony. But he owes her a lot. And to free Charity from hell would be humongous betrayal. If you let Charity stay in hell, you will not only betray her, but all that is good and right in the world. Like, yours truly wasn't under enough pressure already? Do the right thing, small creature. Save Charity. Save the others. Do not let these young people stay in eternity suffering at the hands of evil. You know, I just came back here to see Teresa and get her, and as I can see, she and Sheridan have already left here. Yes. So, well, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> It'll give me a chance to finish reading your tea leaves. You know what? Thank you so much, Tabitha, but no thanks. I uh, don't believe in this sort of thing, like I said. Besides, I think I should be getting back over to the Bennets. So, let's see. No, not yet, Whitney. We're going to have a little fun. <gasps> oh, dear. Oh. oh. What happened? Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's just another of my little spells, dear. Uh, uh, would you please uh, get my pills and some more tea from the kitchen? Yes, yeah, of course. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're going to have some fun, Whitney. I'm going to toy with you, plant some little seeds of doubt in your mind. Then come summer, I'll have a front row seat. When you rustle girls have your lives torn apart by Chad Harris. Oh, oh what a shock you're going to get when you find out that Chad is your half-brother. <laughs> How's your coffee? Oh, it's, uh, it's perfect. Just like you, Chad. <laughs> I leave Harmony for a while, come back to find that my niece Kay, Charity, and her boyfriend are gone, and there's nothing I can do. Well, uh, until we hear back from Father Lonigan, Hank, why don't you tell us what you've been up to? Well, before Roger and Pierre learned that I double-crossed them by helping you pretend you were dead, I got some inside information on their drug operation. The feds had me help Interpol break up a couple of drug rings with ties to the French cartel. Hank, I'm impressed. We all are. Obviously, lots happened since I left town. You two look closer than ever. And Luis, you not only know about Ethan and Teresa being in love, you seem to have accepted it. But you knew there were an item before and didn't tell me? It's water under the bridge. Not only did Luis give us his blessing to get married, but we're gonna have a double wedding with my brother and Sheridan. Why don't you want me talking to Ivy? Well, I don't think this is a time or the place for us to gang up on her. So why don't you just let me handle it, sweetheart? Yeah, you're right. Could you do something for me while I'm talking to Ivy? Sure, sweetheart, just name it. Could you run home and get that box of medical supplies that I keep on hand for emergencies? I mean, we don't know what else might go on tonight. Yeah, okay, I'll be right back. Right. I'm gonna make sure that Ivy never bothers Sam and Grace again. Eve, what are you doing? I'm not gonna let you do this, Ivy. You leave Sam and Grace alone or I'm gonna make you pay. How can I come to terms with my feelings for Ivy when I keep telling you I don't have it? Because I think you do. And I need you to deal with them instead of deny them. But I keep Look, Sam, we can't have a marriage as long as I think there's a place in your heart for another woman. What do you want me to do? I want you to meet with Ivy. I want you to resolve your past with her. Yours truly wants to save Charity. He loves her. I love this princess too. Even though she is evil and inhuman? No one's perfect father. Julia's help, and I've always been to sound. <laughs> <laughs>